Hey, what's going on guys? Terribly Tactical back at the tabletop with another quick little video over a super useful tool that you guys might want to pick up while you have the chance. Uh, I'm loving this thing so far and that being the Gerber Pry Brid. Okay, it's a hybrid of a pry bar and some other tools, hence the name, and uh, we're going to get into it, we're going to talk about it, but for the money, which this thing could be had around 20, 25 bucks, sometimes even less, at your local, you know, communist Walmart, or Meyer online, wherever, I'm really stoked on it, and I think you guys should check one out, because it's proven to be super useful, compact, lightweight, and just overall, a solid design, so... Uh, first off, product number, in case at the end of this video that you guys are intrigued and you want to check it out, you're looking at 31-003743, and uh, some quick little specs before we get into it, you are with, okay, this dimension right here, you're looking at 1.25 inches, overall length 4 and a quarter inches, and the weight 2.9 ounces, so not the lightest little, you know, titanium pry bar EDC junky thing, um, because this is steel, but it's it's not overly heavy by any means. Uh, we'll give you a look at the tool itself. I'm really stoked on it. I don't know if it comes in any other colors. This is G10. This green is G10, and uh, it's got a, it's got a nice medium traction te uh, texture on it. It's not overly aggressive to where it's going to rip up your pocket or something. Um, there's also really nice jimping where you're going to hold it, where you're going to use it, and uh, just a really solid design. I really do like this. You'll see that it is full tang. Uh, as far as the pry bar is concerned, which is nice, and then the G10 scales are bolted on uh, with star keys, so pretty, pretty solid little design, I really do like it a lot, I think it looks good, I think it's a good size, it's handy, and uh, the tools that it comes with for its size and weight, you know, not to sound like nothing fancy, uh, it is preferable, I, I do like this, and I think that it's a welcome addition into anybody's bug out bag, get home bag, uh, EDC pack, or whatever, even their on-person EDC, you know, especially if you're doing warehouse work, we're going to get into it, but I'm I'm really liking this thing. Again, G10, solid material. Steel, definitely a solid material, especially if it's being used for a pry bar. I don't know why that keeps going out of focus. I apologize, guys. But, uh, so this is a multi-tool, right? So it's a multi-tool. Uh, it's not a Swiss Army knife or a Leatherman by any means. But it does have a few extremely useful tools depending on what you're doing. Uh, first off, being the pry bar. Okay, solid pry bar. We got... We got a nice little curve to that. Again, it is completely full tang. It is skeletonized in between, obviously, because of the mechanism and what's going on with that, which we will get to in a second. But for what it is, uh, you know, simple prying tasks, scoring tasks, whatever you got to do, popping a, a lid off a, a can of paint, or even heavier duty or tasks than that, I've messed around with this thing a little bit, uh, and it has worked well for me. So that that's pretty cool. Uh, next, we got a nail puller, right? nail puller so boom you got some nail and some wood you got to get it out you messed up you got to redo it whatever uh this is a lot handier and and smaller and lighter weight than an actual hammer uh, or full-size pry bar now obviously it's not going to have the full capabilities of the larger dedicated tools but to have something that you could quickly pull out of your pocket and do work with is a nice thing so there's that as well we have a wire stripper so you know it is slightly uh, sharpened or comes to a little bit of an edge inside of there. I know the lighting's not the best, guys, but uh, wire wire stripper and nail puller all in the same tool, which is all in the same tool of the pry bar. And speaking to that, you also do have the capability of using this as a large flathead and this one as a smaller one. So uh, very, very, very handy to have in a very flat. Uh, let me say very one more time, but extremely flat tool with a lot of capability you know for its size and weight you know it, it does the job i have tested this i've used this i've been carrying this both on my person and in my edc bag with me since i got it which has been a few weeks now maybe a month and a half and uh, it's holding up great and it's done everything that i asked it to do so i highly recommend it uh other other tools in that after a hard day work you know on the construction site or just surviving or anywhere in between you got to crack a cold one, right? So there is a cap lifter, a bottle opener that could always come in handy. That's a necessity. 
bare necessity. Okay. Also, we do have inside here, um, not necessarily a tool so much, you know, as it is a convenience thing, but I guess it, it could be considered a uh, lanyard hole. So you can wrap some paracord through there, have a lanyard, make it easier to extract from your pocket. And then on top of that, now you have extra survival goods being paracord. So that's never a bad idea. And it's up to you if you want to put it on there or not. Also, last but certainly not least, we have a, uh, a, a box cutter, basically a utility blade. And uh, it's it's swappable, easily swappable. St uh, takes standard utility blades that you can get super cheap uh, for a packet of them at your local hardware store or you know big box store or whatever. Extremely sharp, okay. Extremely sharp as you would expect it to be. I mean, it's sharp, right? <laughs> it's a razor blade. Um, and, and obviously, when you're done with this side, you could take it out, flip it around, use the other side. So you basically get you know two blades in one, and then they're so cheap that you could just stock up on a, on a few of them and swap them out when need be. Plus, if it chips or cracks or damages or whatever, you're not putting the stress and the daily use and wearing down the blade of your nice, expensive EDC blade, you know, your actual pocket knife or whatever it is. So I love this a lot, whether it's for survival purposes or you're working in a warehouse or you're opening packages all day, that comes in real, real handy and uh, super easy to swap. You know, this has like a little detent in there. You pop that out, pull the blade out, put the new one in, snap it back. No big deal. Uh, it's got a couple of positions. This is being the, the standard one, you know, so you're opening a box, you're doing whatever. If you need a little bit more length, that is supplied to you by having it in the position to where you would change out the blade. Uh, also, when it's retracted, okay, you can use this to cut paracord or whatever, whatever else you need, you know. It's handy. You don't have to worry about cutting yourself. You can thread it through there, cut it, nice clean cuts, and uh, just really, really useful. I mean, this thing has honestly surprised me for the money, how well built it is. I'm 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 pretty sure this thing's made in China. Uh, a lot of the Gerber stuff is, and uh, you know, it's it's not super expensive. So that in and of, of itself leads me to believe that, you know, it's definitely produced overseas. However, um, I think this is worth every penny of the 20, 25 bucks or even less than 20 bucks, depending on where you get it, uh, that you're going to spend on it. And, and I would even pay 30 or 40 bucks for this thing, honestly, because of the quality that I've experienced with it and the usefulness, you know, the blade for saving your EDC knife. Okay. You might, you know, be in a bad situation where you might not have the convenience or the opportunity to resharpen your blade, but you can use this. You know, whether it's skinning an animal, just opening packages, you know, you could use this defensively if you had to. It's got a nice, a nice feel, a nice grip. I mean, if you had to slash with it, you could. Also, uh, impact device, you know, defensively speaking. You've got good texture with the G10. You've got good jimping in the G10. And uh, that sticking out, you know, into somebody's face or skull or whatever, you know, that pry bar part of it. I wouldn't want to get hit with that by any means. So it could also be a defensive tool. And on top of that, this, even though it's OD green and whatever, and it has a blade on it, this is going to be looked at far more like an innocent tool that you're using for the job, construction, whatever, warehouse work. And it's going to be a lot more widely accepted by the sheeple than a actual pocket knife, especially a tactical style pocket knife would be. So this is more gray man. It's got a lot of function and utility to it. It carries really nice and uh, it's quality built. So 100%, 10 out of 10, I back this product. I think you guys should check it out and grab one, two, three, four of them. Get one for your friends and family. Keep them in a bag, keep them in the car, keep them on your person because uh, they're cheap enough. They're well built enough and they could definitely come in real handy. So that's the Gerber Prybrid, 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 Gerber Prybrid. That's a tongue twister. Um, but yeah, highly recommended guys, 110%. I love this thing and uh, I am in the market for a few more of them. I wanted to get one, try it out, see what I thought about it. And I am thoroughly impressed. So that's the video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. All that stuff helps me out a ton. You guys have no idea. If you want to fight for your gun rights, which you always should be, hashtag no days off because they're always trying to screw with us and infringe on us. The first three links in the description box will help you to do just that. And if you support me and what I do here,
and you want to shop with some of my affiliates, I do get a little bit of a commission off of that, which goes directly back into building the channel and producing better and more content for you guys. So that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.